So in summary, partial integration works as follows. If we take a primitive of a function that is a combination of a function and a derivative, then we may yeah, differentiate, yeah, take a derivative of f on the left-hand side and take a primitive of uh, g prime. So if we recognize a product of functions and we know how to differentiate one function and we know a primitive of the other function, we can reformulate this integral. Since as a first part we have fx times gx, so it uses our knowledge of a primitive of g prime. And on the right hand side we explore the fact again that we have a primitive of g, but also know how to differentiate the function f. So that's why it's called partial integration, because basically we take a primitive of g prime only. Yeah, that's why it's called partial integration. So there's also an alternative formulation using differentials. So if we write uh, fx uh, as a function u, so u is f of x, and uh, suppose we write v as g of x, then of course using differentials we get that du du equals f prime x dx and uh, dv equals g prime x dx yeah, in our integral representation where we actually exploit the fact that our, our notation of differentials we now may formulate the partial integration technique a little bit differently so we have the integral with respect to f which is u and g prime x dx which is dv now and f times g equals u times v minus the integral over v du yeah since f prime x dx is on our right hand side written as du and g of x equals 